It was not a discussion on getting him. Um, he just showed up. <laughs> <laughs> and I did not tell her at the time that I just found out I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. He became very attached to me, and I didn't know why. I knew I wasn't feeling very well. But he knew more about me than I knew about myself. Through him, I found out I was more ill than what I thought. I didn't know at the time I was having many heart attacks. And I didn't know that I had a sleep apnea problem. And I told my doctors what King was doing. And they said that's probably what draw him to uh, waking you up at night. After finding out all of that, I prayed and I asked God if King is meant to be here for me to be able to provide for him. I had to let my pride down and say, okay, I'm going to go and get help for food. I don't care if I can't eat. I'm going to make sure that he has his food. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know who to turn to. I was just lost. To hear that now I could get help with food and you guys offer this for free. I, I was blown away. I needed him. I keep saying, is he really a dog or is he a guardian mm -hmm. angel? It allowed both of us to eat healthy. It allowed me not to have anxiety and have peace. <laughs> I, I realize it's not a hand out, it's a hand up from Atlanta Humane Society helping me. Mm -hmm.